Hello, welcome to another video. My name is Marceau and today we'll be talking about settings that you need to adjust on your Sony a7R5 before you even start shooting. So it's great to see you back here again. If you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button for future videos from me. And if you already subscribed and you came back, welcome back to another video. Here are a few settings that I adjust on the Sony a7R5 when I first got it. And are, these are also settings that you can try to adjust when you first get your camera. Some of these things might be specific to the way I shoot. So some of these things may not apply to you, but also let me know in the comments below if there are other things that you'd like to set up on your Sony a7R5. So the first thing to do once you turn it on is to set the power temperature setting to high. When you first set up your Sony a7R5, it might automatically just prompt you to do that. But if it doesn't, you can just do it after the fact. Going to menu, going all the way to setup, power setting option, auto power off temp, and just set that to high. And this is standard just in most Sony cameras. You just gotta turn that to high and your camera should be okay. Make sure you're in the photo dial. We're going to next go to shooting, image, image stabilization, and make sure your steady shot is set to on. Just helps you get more of a stabilized image when you're shooting photography. The next thing we're gonna do is go to shooting and then shooting display, grid line display. I like to set my two on and I like to set it to the rule of thirds grid. That little grid of the rule of thirds right there. The next setting is going to focus, go to AFMF and then focus mode. And I like to shoot most of my photos in continuous autofocus. Most of my shooting is done with that. And I keep the same thing for the video as well. Next thing is to go to focus area. Go to AFC area display. And this will set the display of your continuous autofocus area. And I like to set that to on. Let's turn this off first so you see what I mean. So right now as you pre-focus the autofocus, there is no display. But if you turn that on, then you get that continuous autofocus display, as you can see right there, those green grids that show up. The next settings are video specific, so make sure you turn your dial to the video dial. And then we'll go to shooting, image quality, APS-C, Super 35 shooting. I like to set that to auto. What that does is that the camera will automatically switch to APS-C mode if you are using an APS-C lens. The next thing we're gonna do is in the same menu, go to lens compensation, and we will make sure that all of these are set to auto, including breathing compensation. And some of these may not be enabled or some of these may not be available depending on the lens that you're using, especially the breathing compensation feature. It may not be available on all lenses yet, but in most Sony lenses, you should still have that available. So we'll set these to auto and just to have in-camera lens corrections or compensations for that can be done directly in camera, depending on the lens that you're using. And the other thing I like to do is going to audio recording in the same menu under shooting and going to wind noise reduction, and I like to keep it off. The auto and the on setting on Sony cameras for wind noise reduction is actually not that great. I usually just like to keep it off and remove that wind noise myself in post-production. The next one is also in this shooting menu. Let's go all the way down to number 10, shooting display, and then we'll go to emphasize recording display. So we'll keep this to on. And let me show you what it looks like if you have it off. So let's turn it off first and go to movie recording. The only signal you get when you're recording a movie now is this little REC text, the little text of REC in red. So let's stop that. But once we turn it on, you actually get an emphasized recording grid square on the entire camera. And this is very useful so that you can make sure that you are actually recording. The next one and the last one is going into the focus menu, AFMF, and we're going to AF assist, we'll turn it on. So what this does is that it will enable your focus ring operation during autofocus. So while autofocus, if you have a lens that is compatible with this feature, and then you turn on the focus ring, it will switch to manual focus as long as you're operating that focus ring. So these are pretty much the main features, the main settings that I adjust 
before I even start shooting with this camera. So that is it for today's video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time.